How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new world of horror. I mean, just enjoying the way that the, the mouse drags around. It's a one bit game, which means it's entirely just black and white based. How do you even begin to describe this game? The second I heard of it, I, I was so enthralled and like knew that I needed to play it. It's a little bit Junji Ito, some HP Lovecraft. It's a little bit roguelike. It's kind of like a throwback to text adventures. I just don't know how to properly explain it. I don't even really know that well, just what I have seen looks so fascinating. Would you like to customize your playthroughs? Look, you can upgrade to 2-bit. Oh, things get a little bit more detailed. I'm going to leave it as 1-bit. You can randomize. Oh, you just like chucks in some extra colors and everything. That's like a really random, weird feature to throw in. And I kind of, I kind of dig it. Red and black. That's a little bit sp spooky. Maybe it, maybe it's too scary. I think I, I think I just want to go with like standard black and black and white though. What the shit? If it's your first time playing World of Horror, it's recommended that you start with the spine chilling story of School Scissors before trying more complex playthroughs. So a tiny section of a standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mysteries, extracurricular activity that will prepare uh, the standard playthrough for you, allowing you to start a game without worrying about the in-depth stuff for now. There's quick play, a true chaos. This option will start a new playthrough, randomly selecting character, old god background, and more. And you can do a customized playthrough with a weird-ass horror mask. If it recommends this stuff as a base one, I'll do that. City of Shiokoa, Japan, 1980-something. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. Absolutely disgusting. There's crustaceans everywhere. Crabs, sea cucumbers. Gross. Don't want any of that. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings, Jesus, she's having trouble, who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you've finally arrived in the doomed town. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear here. The story so far. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. Oh, that sounds disgusting. It's a race at the nursery. Babies everywhere, I bet. <laughs> just, just, just disgusting. It's a race against time, and you can't rest until our town is safe. Wow, that's a really effective water effect. <laughs> I didn't want to say effect, effective and effect together, but that seems like it would be hard to pull off in one bit. I think it looks good. Can't rest until our town is safe. Start the mystery. Combat tutorial on. I would like to know how to combat just in case it comes up. I have ABC. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even, I'll learn. I'll learn what's going on in the UI here. There's a lot of shit. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile. Like a little bit of like a Chelsea smile, you know, like Heath Ledger's Joker. And the sharpest scissors. You know your friend was up to something when he left you with his, his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decide to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst that can happen? Investigate the mystery. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors and the big smile, she's got a lot of adjectives. You'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. 
I have storage, explore the school, perform the ritual. Well, I'm clearly not ready for that. I don't know if I'm... I don't think I'm supposed to, like, point and click around. I probably just go exploring around by, by interacting like this. Explore the school. <laughs> that was the weirdest, like, chibi art to go along with everything else. Like, what's that all about? Is this an eldritch symbol? Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Stare in disbelief or needs a kumi ally. Continue your investigation. Oh, I kind of have like a timeline. Stare in disbelief. Charisma check. Success. How is this possible? Minus one reason. Am I going crazy just by investigating this? Resolve the event. Blessed chalk. Not found. Holy candles. Not found. I feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Well, shit. It's not going well at all, is it? Check out the school lockers. They all have, like, uh, several of them have different symbols on them. Oh, God. Did I just, like, open up a portal? Did I take damage? I have a heart and a brain. I guess that's my stamina and my reason. Oh, God. Uh, baseball bat. That seems like it would be handy, right? Wooden bat. I have that. Equipment slot A. Blunt. Two-handed. Different damage. Slightly dusty. Good. Equip. I do want to equ equip it. I don't know if that worked. All right, one more locker. You need a tiny key to open this locker. Oh, good. I do have the, the bat there. I was looking at this A, B, and C. I do have the bat. The UI is a little bit to get used to here. You feel like something horrible is happening. Access my storage? What, what do I have stashed away here? Anything particularly useful? The friend's diary? You retrieved an item from storage. A lot of crossed out things. Maru is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she doesn't attempt the ritual herself. The sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. That's way more complicated than like a pentagram or anything. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow, I'll to perform the ritual. All right, I know vaguely where to go looking. Inspect for additional information. I hope they're okay. And put it back in storage. So I can't actually click on any of that. This is this is my list of things that are stored properly. All right, well, let's go look in the classroom. Now we know we have like a better sense of where to look. Investigating classroom. Oh, God damn. Oh, faded away, part guest. Oh God, fuck that, what? <laughs> what do I do, do I have to fight that thing or is that just, is that that? You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left at the pool. You must hurry and find it. Peek outside, no, never, never again. Are you kidding me? Why would I do that? Explore the library, no, pool, go to the pool. <laughs> You enter the damp smelling sport wing. Is is the the pool in the library? You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? Should we try and reach it? From a distance somehow I have to enter the water? You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. Prepare for combat! A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your way out of the pool. Ugh. Gross, man. Look how lumpy and saggy and sweaty he is. A bloated teacher. I honestly don't know if this combat tutorial <laughs> makes a ton of sense. So I, I have to choose different things to do. I can kick, time needed 55, attack without a weapon, not a lot of damage. I have a knife. I don't have a knife. I wish I had a knife. <laughs> Uh, offensive actions. Okay, that's all those. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna punch him, kick him, whatever. I'll kick him with my fist. I don't care how I do it. It's it just in general. It's something that I would like to do. It doesn't actually seem like I can select other things like the offensive actions, and then I can't even click any of those, uh, and I can't click a knife or anything. So kick, kick, and I don't think there's enough time to even do a fourth kick. I think I would be out, out of time to do that. So that's all I can do, I think. So I'm just going to run in there and just punch, just kick him, kick him a bunch. Whatever it is I'm going to do. He gurgles and murmurs. Oh, he's not even like fighting back. There's something weird about that to me. 
Oh, maybe I just couldn't access other things because it's a tutorial. Oh man, I have to use an action of look for an improvised weapon. Time needed 120. Pick up a random improvised weapon. Can it fail? It doesn't seem like it can fail. All right, and then I'll attack with my weapon after that. Beautiful, beautiful series of things. You found an item, a branch. Found a tree branch somewhere in this swimming pool library. Oh, I do also have the wooden bat still. Does that not count? Oh, maybe I hadn't ever actually equipped it. No, I don't. Uh, keep the bat. Keep the bat. I don't want to get rid of the bat. I don't particularly know why I, I dropped my bat. Attack with weapon, attack with weapon. Do that twice, and then can I do, throw, in, throw in a kick in there as well. Great, great comboing. I mean, I'm also getting hit. I'm, I'm slowly getting messed up by this a little bit. Uh, throw in, throw in that sequence once more. Hopefully, I can actually finish this jerk off. Damn, he's still not actually dead yet. Well, one of these will surely end things. Experience. Weird to earn experience in this particular game. Resolve combat. You found blessed chalk which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. It looks great. I don't think you have a single misplaced line there. Redraw? Oh. Okay, now that makes me a little bit nervous. Now that makes me think that I really do need to, to take a, a closer, better look at that. I don't think that was a very good... I don't think he did very good at all, actually. There's not much at the bottom, and it touches in seven different parts, plus there's like a weird extra line? Alright, go back, man. I think you did a terrible goddamn job of that. See, that kind of sucks too. Why is there two different redraw sigil options? That's wrong, that's not good. What was the design? Go, okay, okay, you know what? Go back to your friend's diary, investigate more closely, that's not close enough. I want you to look real closely at that very specific symbol there, man. You're using up a lot of time. That's better. Not great. It should be correct now. Okay. Okay, if you're calling that good, maybe that's it. Maybe that is good enough. We'll, we'll, we'll call it. We'll call it A-OK. -okay. I still need something else, though. I drew that. I need something else. You're stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months. But how could you? She died in an accident. Uh, okay, stalker girl. A little bit creepy. Not as horrifying as I was expecting it to be, to be totally honest. Strong attack. Strength based. Takes a lot of time. And doesn't do much more damage, honestly. Man, you do miss a lot. 55% chance isn't great, so I'm gonna stack some improved chances to hit. Hopefully that makes a, a big difference. See, now I've, I've really wasted time, though. I didn't really budget time very effectively by, by doing that. Don't know if that was really the best. Enemy regains health. No, they bit me. You stalker psycho. What's that all about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to keep stabbing and kicking, I guess. Bit me again. This combo seems to work decently well overall. I mean, I can't do it forever, especially when they keep healing like that. This isn't, uh, sustainable. I was kind of hoping it would just end nice and quickly, though. I don't even see- there, 20 experience. That's all I have. You don't have enough experience. I know. <laughs> I'm a rookie. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. What? <laughs> They're just snipping away in the background there. Just snip, 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 snip. All right. Uh, I need these damn candles. Where the hell were the candles? We thought they were in uh, a classroom? As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Ugh. Come closer. Needs anatomy class perk. Oh, so I can't actually do that one. So come closer. Oh, you freak. <laughs> Jesus. Against your better judgment, you approach, approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Minus two reason. But I found the candles. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. Oh, oh okay. The, the, the friend with the diary. Not that corpse full of spiders. <laughs> 
never I couldn't be friends with that. I, I, I try to be a very open-minded, tolerant person, but I have my limits. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Perform the ritual. Wait, what is that? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, I wasn't expecting things to actually, like, happen. Like, animated things. Jesus. Oh, that was glitchy and weird. The sigil and holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong? I kind of thought maybe, but he seemed confident. Oh man, look at like the shattered shoulder, but like the sideways broken apart face and everything. It looks nuts. Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors. I didn't realize how big they were. And croaks. Am I beautiful? <laughs> Oh god, look how messed up I am. One, I'm all battered and bruised and cut up and stuff, but also, like, eyes are going a little bit crazy, I think, because I start losing my mind. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna super die during this. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? A little more normal that time. Holy shit, look at that. And it just snapped in there, scissors away. Oh god, no. Defensive actions and spiritual actions, I hadn't done any of that before. Clap! Just round of applause. Maybe we're maybe a slow clap. Real scary there, monster. Cool scissors. Way to be. <laughs> that would really psych them out. Part of a ritual. Most combat rituals are a combination of five bows and claps. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. It's kind of interesting. Pray. Yeah, I, I could bow down and pray. That seems like maybe a good option at this point. I'm gonna go clap, clap, bow, clap, bow. Seems seems like the right thing to do in this particular situation. Attacking, I don't know. I don't have a lot of faith that that'll go particularly well. Clap, bow, clap, 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 bow. All that. Nothing happens. You think you got one ritual move, right? Oh, it's that sort of game. Like, Mastermind? Is that what that game's called? Where you gotta change out the colored pegs and you have like 10 different chances to get it right or whatever. Wow, I wish I had done something other than that. That's a cool concept, though. I don't know if I have any chance of winning this battle. Should I just continue clapping at things? Probably not. I'll be honest, I really wish I had that baseball bat. I, I think it would have been much better. Guaranteed hit. I think I'll, I think I'll go for that. And then I'll do two regi regular reg reg regular attacks. An attack boost. I probably should have done that sooner. Shouldn't boost your attack after the fact. She's cackling menacingly. Sh minus two damage. After each sequence, enemies perform an attack, draining your stamina. I'm just kind of curious what some of the different stats and things are around there. Man, I'm really mangled, so I basically have to use this one-time use. Desperate struggle, time needed 40, doubles all damage dealt during... Oh, I thought it was going to help me heal. I, I looked at it before, either strength or reason needs to be below 3 to do it. All damage dealt during this turn. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to launch the sequence. No. There was no way I was going to win that, but I, I meant to just switch. Am I beautiful? Creepy. Creepy stuff. You perished. Cause of death. Killed by Scissor Woman. Level 1. Did terrible, terrible job. Incoming Doom, 5%. That's not a whole lot of Doom. Very light amount of Doom. You didn't complete any mystery. You saw five new events. You encountered three new enemies. You didn't unlock any achievements. Stabs you. Raises her scissors. Your dro health drops too low. You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Well, dang, son. What an interesting, weird-ass game. This is, I guess I wouldn't have seen this before because I started recording after the fact. This is kind of a neat little opening sequence thing for the developer. This game is so damn interesting, but I clearly, like, there's clearly a learning curve there that I have not overcome because I didn't feel like I knew what I was doing at any point. It was starting to come together. It was starting to come together, but, like, at that point, I was already pretty well dead and everything. So, yeah, <laughs> that kind of worked against me a little bit. The game is out now. You guys can go check it out for yourselves. I have a link down below. I'm very interested. I'm very interested in seeing more. I just uh, don't have much faith in my abilities here. 
you guys have to let me know what you think. The game has a lot going for it, you know? There's a lot of really cool ideas on display there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.